Let's start by talking about the, the challenge set by Target around this transition to a low carbon economy. So what do you include and what do you not include? Solar, biofuels, wind. How those new and emerging technologies uh, are accelerated down that pathway. Everybody needs to take responsibility for cutting their own emissions. Michael, thanks very much for joining us. You're Chief Operating Officer of the Carbon Trust and we've been set up with a massive mission to make a transition to a low carbon economy. But this is going to involve a huge amount of business risk, but also opportunity. Yeah. Tell me about the opportunity side first. Yeah, I, I think you're right, David. It, it is a very significant business opportunity. What we're talking about in the UK is reducing carbon emissions by 60 to 80 percent by 2050, which is a, a, a massive change in, in, in how our economy works. And with any change of that magnitude, that creates both tremendous business opportunities and business risks. And we know from the work of, of Stern that an, an overall economy perspective, this change can be done in a way that doesn't uh, impact our competitiveness. But I think the issue is, with any change of this magnitude, there's going to be massive creation and destruction of shareholder value. I think the issue for, for companies is, where do, where do they want to be in, in that change? Do they want to be leaders or do they, do they want to be followers? And I think our experience very much is that the, the, the winning com companies ultimately will come from, from those organizations that proactively understand the risks and opportunities and manage those risks and opportunities over time. In the last couple of years, though, I've noticed a, a general move much more in favor of recognizing there is a challenge out there to which business must po respond positively. Can you tell me a little more about the engagements that we have in the Carbon Trust with business? Yeah, I think businesses are very much on a journey. I think if you go back four or five years, it was really only the energy intensive companies that were engaged in this, this issue because it was a core issue for them in terms of cost. But increasingly, companies have, have, have started to see value uh, to them in, in different ways. So you know, three or four years ago, energy prices increased very significantly. That got a lot more companies interested in energy efficiency, but also in, in uh, renewable technologies. We're seeing companies at different stages in their evolution. Some companies are quite sophisticated and they're looking at low-carbon products and services. Some companies are much, at a much earlier stage in their journey and they're really just starting to look at, at, at energy efficiency. Right. And in that journey of uh, variability across companies, what are the kind of products and services that the Carbon Trust provides to help those companies go forward? Yeah, we have a range of, of services, both to help very small companies, but also to help some of, some of the uh, larger companies uh, in the UK and more broadly. So if you look at smaller companies, our, our services are mainly helping uh, small companies overcome the financial barriers to investing in energy efficiency and low carbon technologies. So we have interest free loans, for example, for, for very small companies. If you look at medium sized companies, um, our main offering there would be carbon management. So that's helping them understand the energy risks and opportunities for their business around climate change. And again, if you look at larger companies again, our main offering would be strategic insights, which is helping them understand the medium term business opportunities and business risks for their organization around this transition to a low carbon economy. Mm. I can understand why small and medium sized businesses would need some help. And I can understand some small companies simply won't have the cash to buy the energy efficiency equipment. But it always surprises me that the large companies haven't got the expertise and the resources under their belts. Where does the carbon tax actually add value to those companies? Yeah, I think it's interesting. I, mean, I think a number of corporates have been thinking about these issues for, for, for some time now. Uh, but I think the way that Carbon Trust can add value is that, that we very much focus on understanding the medium term risks and opportunities around climate change. Can you say a little bit more about what we do under the solution side of the business, exactly to reiterate your comment earlier about helping businesses practically with measures they can take today? It's clear that we need to reduce emissions in the UK context by 60 to 80 percent. And we believe that half of that, that, that gap can be met with existing technologies. And the other half, roughly, will need to be met by new and emerging technologies. And that's why the Carbon Trust, we're working on both of those issues. So we're working with, within Carbon Trust solutions about de deploying existing technologies and within Carbon Trust innovations and enterprises, et cetera, about developing new, uh, new technologies and, and new uh, business models. Michael, thanks very much for that comprehensive view of the Carbon Trust. Thank you, David.